can't kill something that that is immortal. You can't destroy it. And then guess what he's doing? He's raising up 144,000 of replicas of himself. So guess what? You shoot me, that brother stands up. You shoot him, that brother stands up. You can just destroy a whole city of brothers. And the truth will continue to go on. Read that thing. Something. Who's ruling the black household today? The woman. It's the woman. It's the white man first. Bring it up. That white man's ruling. A man is ruling your house. But here's the thing. But you can only get but, section eight if you win. But here's the thing. We got to turn back to God's laws. Get Genesis 18 and 18. Why did? Hey, pay attention, bro. Because y'all brother said the woman, right? As men now. The officer's bringing out teaching for you to come back and become a man of the Lord, a no, real no, man that you're ordained to say be. Say that again. Read that. Say it again. Say exactly what you said. The officer's out here teaching you now so that our men now, you said the gates that are languished, you are those gates that are languished. Right. Yeah. That you can come back and learn to be men of the Lord. Now, right. this is the man that the Most High chose, our forefather Abraham. Read that. The book yeah. of Genesis, chapter 18 and verse 18. This is yeah. very yeah. important. For too long, our men has given the power over to our women, which in turn, you're giving your households over to the so-called white man. And now we're too afraid to even deal with that black woman that's in our household now. Yeah. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life, right? My baby mama, she runs you damn near crazy. And you do everything. You rob, you steal, you, you, you smoke weed, you do drugs, all type of things just to please that woman and to make her happy. Yeah. When you ain't not in no control at all, that's the most I say you need to stand up and be men now. Read. Yeah. See that Abraham shall become a great and mighty nation. Abraham is the mighty example that our black men needed because he's our forefather. We are the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are the sons of Israel. What? You understand that? This is the example that we have, read. And all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him, for I know him. Mosai said he knows Abraham. How do you think the Mosai knows Abraham? The same way he knows you, brother, and you, brother. He knows all of our men now. But now the Most High has to start dealing with us. This is how the Most High is going to deal with us men. Read. That he will command his children. Oh, read that thing strong and with power and emphasize command. Read. read. For, for read. I know him that, that he will command his children. He's going to command his children. Right. It didn't say he's going to team up with the wife and command his wife. It said he's going to command his children. Your job is to learn these laws. Start walking as a man of the Lord and start commanding your household. Read on. Right. And his household. And his household. Who else is in that house? That woman is in that household as well. Right. She has no say so in regards to what goes on in the black household. The problem is we've given that power over. Right. Right. And in turn, we're following under the so-called white man. Because right. he is in their mind. He is there, 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 the white man's satellite. Read out. When we come into this walk here, a lot of us men have to deal with that and battle that and have to conquer the so-called black woman you know. in our household. Yeah, right. Right. Read. And they shall keep the way of the Lord. They shall do what? Keep the way of the Lord. Our job is to make sure that everyone in our household is keeping the way of the Lord. You must learn that first. Read. Right. To do justice Go ahead. and judgment. That's to do justice and judgment. That's part of being a gate. That's part of being a leader. And every, if every black man starts doing that, then our community will get better. Right. And then we'll have judges in our community that'll deal with the, the little sister coming out here dressed immodestly. And every, not just her father, but that man, then a sis, you need to go upstairs and change your clothing. Then that man will deal with the father and tell the father, look, don't have your daughter coming out here like that. Right. See, if we had a community, right. the Chinese man deals like that. See, in them Arab countries, they'll put you to death. If, if your daughter is a whore doing some wild stuff, some of them countries, they're still stoning women to this day. Jeez. Cutting heads off. We don't do that in our community, though. Not saying that we're going to do the violent route, but we got to at least form some kind of order. Read. That the Lord may bring upon Abraham, which he have spoken of him. Which he has spoken of. Get first Kings and he can come back up. First Kings chapter 2. You know what I want? This is why we're out here. And it's great that we have black men out here that we're dealing with. Because a lot of times it's women. And it turned into an argument once the laws come out. But you brothers are the pillars of our community that needs to wake up. That's why this word is coming out. Read. First Kings, 
chapter 2, verse 2. Go ahead. I go the way of all the earth. This is King David now, speaking to his son Solomon, who, is, who are forefathers of Jesus Christ, which we just learned was a so-called black man. Right. So that means David and Solomon were so-called black men. They were Jews. Israelites from the tribe of Judah, right. from our same lineage. Read. Be thou strong, therefore. You got to strengthen up because the black man is weak today. Our men are weak as hell today. We're weak to the woman. We're weak to the white man. We're weak to the drugs that we smoke. We're weak to the alcohol that we depend on to change our spirit to make us feel better. We're yeah. weak to everything in society. It says, be thou what? Be thou strong, therefore. Now strap yourself up, black man. Be thou strong, therefore, and do what? And show thyself a man. We must start showing ourselves as men. Showing ourselves as men. How do we do that? Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. The Most High God has charged us black men. The Most High God has charged us black men. We're getting our households in order and start governing our communities. Taking over our, our, our nation and letting the women become in subjection. And if the women got the devil on them and don't want to be in subjection, kick their asses to the curb. What? We don't have time for that. We don't have time. These are the last days today. Read. To walk in his ways. We must start walking in his ways now. That's why the officer's bringing out these laws. Read. To keep his statutes and his commandments Go ahead. and his judgments. Our job is to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. It's not grievous to change your diet. It's not grievous to change the way you, the clothes you wear. It shouldn't be grievous for you to get off of drugs. It shouldn't be grievous for you to stop prostituting and being tricks and things of that nature. No. It shouldn't be grievous, but we know that it is a, it's a transition. It's hard because we've been living that lifestyle for so damn long. It's embedded in us. That's where your brothers come into play. That's where the knowledge and understanding comes into play. Read. And his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. That's when we'll start prospering as a nation of people. We don't have to worry about being homeless or jobless or having to rely upon a woman's income to take care of us while we kick our feet up, right? Right. We don't. Having to rely on those things. We're not prospering in our ways because right now the black man is worried about video games, marijuana, and hoes. We don't. We don't. Video games, marijuana, and hoes. Jeez which turns into drug dealing and selling dope or robbing niggas, dope boys, all type of foolishness. Huh? Right. It makes absolutely no sense because we're not men, we're being boys today. That's right. And I say we because we are just like you. We come from you. That's right. We are like you. We used to do the things that you used to do. We're still right. battling those same demons. That's right. That's why we can come out to you and relate to the brother that, that's a whoremonger or the brother whose wife is ruling over him. Or the brother that's strung out on damn drugs because he, he can't even fathom how to deal in society. We are just like you. Finish that off. That was it. No. And whithersoever thou turnest thyself. And anywhere you turn, you must do those things. You had a lot of questions dealing with um, our leaders being put to death, right? And how we can't, how, how in the world a black man is going to overcome. Because every time a man steps up, that, that brother gets shot down. They did it to Malcolm X, they did it to Martin Luther King, they, did, they annihilated the Black Panthers, all those different things. This movement here ain't that. Hey, this movement here right. is not that. We're standing up with the word of God now yes, dealing with you. Yes, you right. understand that? Give me that um, nothing against this truth here. Is it Peters? Somebody find that real quick. Because what we're doing now, we're going over God's laws and we're preaching the Bible. There's absolutely nothing that these bastards can do to stop this truth. You know why? Because back then, they knew that killing Malcolm X, that'll stop the whole movement. He was the face of the movement, right? Martin Luther King was the face... Martin Luther King was the face of the civil rights movement, right? Guess who's the face of this movement right here? Who's the face of this movement? This man right here? That's right! You can't kill something that, that is immortal! You can't destroy them. And guess what he's doing? He's raising up 144,000 of replicas of himself. So guess what? You shoot me, that brother stands up. You shoot him, that brother stands up. You can de destroy a whole city of brothers. 
and the truth will continue to go on. Read that thing. First Corinthians, Second Corinthians, chapter thirteen and verse eight. Yeah. For we can do nothing against the truth. You can't do nothing against the truth. This is the truth here. Right. This nonsense right here is a lie. Being taught that our women can walk around with, with skinny pants on and, and, and get married without and have sex before marriage, those are lies to you, black men. Right. Right. Telling you that you're an African American is a lie. That's right. The truth is the laws of the Most High God and what's written in the Bible here. Read that again. For we can do nothing against the truth. There's nothing you can do against this truth here. The white man knows that. Hence the reason why they can't come at us with guns because they put us down who looks bad, us or them. They call us a hate group for telling our people, hey, brother, marry that woman that you're lying with. That's hatred? Okay. They tell Kanye West, Nick Cannon, all them brothers that say, look, we are the real Jews. Real. They call them anti-Semitic and call them evil. But they'd rather you call yourself a nigger in a song. They'd rather you call yourself black instead of taking, taking over your true nationality, your true heritage. Real. There's something about that thing. There's something about that. Y'all brothers need to wake up. Read that again. For we can do nothing against the truth, Read. but for the truth. The only thing you can do is something for the truth. If y'all brothers get a flyer and do absolutely nothing, guess what happens? You're helping the truth out anyway. But why not be on the other side of things, start changing your life, and start building the Most High's kingdom so we can get the hell out of here? That's, so that's what the Most High is waiting on. Give me um, 144,000 revelations. Chapter 14. The most, chapter 7, the most high God is waiting for 144,000 men, black, Hispanic, and Native American men to wake the hell up, start turning their lives to the most high God so that our captivity will be changed and we'll become rulers. That's what we should want as a people. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 7 and verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, Go ahead. and there were sealed and hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. It didn't say a hundred and forty-four thousand of the nations of the earth. It didn't say a hundred and forty-four thousand of, of, of all these other people. It said of the children of Israel. Everybody is not Israel. Read. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. That's why we're coming out here now, teaching nationality to our brothers. Right. The yeah. tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah was sealed 12,000. Read. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. The tribe of Reuben was sealed 12,000. Read. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Right, so it's 12,000 of each tribe. We can go down the list if we want to. The thing is, y'all brothers got to learn that you are Israelites, and you too, sister. You gotta learn your nationality. You gotta understand that the Bible's only talking to you. What if, the truth tells you that without a shadow of a doubt, we can prove that the Israelites are the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Yeah. We can prove that based off the prophecies written in the scriptures. You understand? And let me get a, how do we come over here in this country? Brother, how did the black man get over here? He's already here. Some of us were. But how did the people that were already over here get over here? Slave trade. All of these things are written in the Bible. How do we get over here, sis? By boats. By boats, right? What kind of boats? Carnival cruise ships? Wooden no, boats. Slave boats. Slave boats, something like this. You believe, do you believe those wooden boats can make it through? You those damn straight it can. Those wooden boats right there can make it through. Those cargo slave ships, yes. They're cargo ships. They used to trade all type of different different resources, so right? To so guess what they did? That same ship that they were trading rice, flour, wheat, Bali, they put slaves in, the, in those same ships. Right. It's not no, no regular ship with, with seats on it and things of that nature. They, they stack you up here just like this. Come closer. Look at this thing, man. This is what happened to our people. You too, sis, because it happened to you as well. Look how these brothers and sisters is butt naked, sitting side by side, laying side by side. Where's the other one with the lace? Right, get the one. Get that one right there. Get this one. Look at this here. These, this imagery is what our people need to see. Instead of seeing a damn Cardi B or Nicki Minaj or the, what's the new one? Scarlet, the, the one telling you to get the f out New York. That nonsense, the, the, the degrading and look at our people right here. They lined up like that, stacked on top of each other. Like the sister said, what happens when you gotta defecate? What happens when you gotta piss now? 
What happens when our sister's on a menstrual or giving birth or the brother next to you dies because they were on those ships for months? What happens? You got to deal with that. I, we survived this thing. Our four parents survived that. Right. We are the survivors of that thing. Right. And we should be ashamed of ourselves for neglecting that thing and acting like it doesn't mean nothing. No, it matters, and it's biblically. It's Bible. Read verse 68. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Bible is saying that the Most High God is going to take the Israelites, the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, into Egypt again on ships, with ships. What is Egypt? Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So the same people that the Most High brought out of slavery in Egypt, read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage, he's going to do this. The Egypt is synonymous with bondage, read. 28, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Most High God is going to bring you into slavery again on cargo ships. Cargo ships. Cargo slave ships. That's in the Bible. You can't dispute that thing. What other nation do we know of that has been in slavery on slave ships? Because you mentioned that um, the white man is slaves too because they pay taxes all those different things, right? Did, they, did the white man go do this? No. Did the Chinese man, do you have any record of the Chinese man going through this in their history? We got record of the Chinese man having our black asses in slavery, though. Right. right. And whipping our backs and right. building the, the, um, the Great Wall of China, though. Right. The China man. The China man ruling in the West Indies now. Right. Got all kind of stores and stuff like the same way the white man owned everything here. The China man owned down there everything in Jamaica and Trinidad and things of that nature. Right. Read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. The same way Moses is telling you it's going to happen, what's going to happen? Thou shalt see it no more again. We'll never see Egypt or our homeland ever again. We'll never see that thing again. Read. And there, and there, when we land in, these, in this land here, when they take us, give me that other sign right here again. These slave ships just didn't come to America. It went to North, Central, and South America. It went over to Europe. We were scattered everywhere. That's why we know that we are all the same people. You look at some Mexican, you see the Afro-Mexican, that's our people. And same way with the Indian looking Mexicans, we were scattered everywhere. And he said, when we dock on these lands here, what's gonna happen to us? And ye shall be sold unto your enemies. He said, we're gonna be sold unto our friends. To our enemies. We shall be sold unto our enemies. The same enemy now that uses their media to hold headquarters into our women's minds and our men's minds. The same people that we think are our friends when they give us a tax return. Give us our money back. The same people that we think, hold that up. The same people that we think are our friends when they give us food stamps after we done kicked the black man out the house that was paying more money for food out of his paycheck than a white man give you each month. We reference those food stamps and welfare checks when you got a working hard black man that pays the same amount of money, but you don't understand that the white man, our enemies, has that in our women's minds. Bring it up. And our men can't do nothing about it. Sold them unto our enemies for what? For born men. For slave men. Free. And born women. And slave women. We were auctioned off. We watch these slave movies. We see it. And so our enemies put that damn thing in our faces. They make them. And what do you think our reaction is when we see that movie? What's your reaction when you, when you see a, another slave movie? Roots. Or, or the um, birth of a nation. What happens when you see, see it? Do you watch it? That's the, you get angry. That's you get angry, right? I'm, I'm very angry. That's confusing me, though. What? Highly confusing. You know why it's confusing? No. You know why they put it in front of our face? Because they want to measure how much understanding we have. Why do you think they're taking critical race theory out of the schools? That's right. They're not teaching slavery. Hey. You know what? I woke up to this. When I saw that this was in the Bible, I was like, oh, shit, this is crazy. The first thing I did was get mad at my parents. Then I got mad at every single Christian pastor in the world. Right. That's right. Right. Then I got mad at every single Christian in the world right. for not understanding and believing this thing when it's right in front of our faces. Right. 
That's the first thing, but the white man does that thing. He puts it out there. He'll give you some truth. Just to gauge how, what, 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 what level he's on. He knows his time is short. He knows that uh, you can't stop this thing here. He knows that he's waiting on a number to be woken up before his reign is over and the next superpower is the so-called black man on this earth. He knows that thing. The problem is we don't know, so he can put out a slave movie showing Kuta Kinte getting his back beat for saying his, his regular name until he, until he says Toby. But yet we have the Johnson family reunion. And I'm a Williams. And I'm a Thompson. And I'm a Jameson. And we love that thing. That's right. Finish that off. Read it from the top again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. The Most High God is going to bring the Israelites into slavery again on cargo ships and scatter them across the earth. Who are the Israelites then today? Who did this happen to, sis? It happened to us. It happened to us, right? So what does that make us? What does that make us, brother? We are the slaves, but what does that make the slaves? We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That is our nation, and we're not black. Black is a color. African American is named after two so-called white men. And why the hell is our nationality changed more, changed more than anyone else's nationality? We were Negroes. We were black. We were colored. Afro-American. Now we're African American. It's impossible for your nationality to change. They don't want you to know who you are because they want to keep their foots on our neck and keep their kingdom rolling. Yes. Keep their kingdom rolling. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, I speak, read. thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies read. for born men and born women. And what else? And no man shall no man is going to redeem us. Give me that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Give me that. Hey, no man is going to redeem us. So back to your statement. Martin Luther King tried, they popped him. Marcus Garvey tried, they um they deported him, and he and he mysteriously died. Malcolm X died, they shot him in the head. A lot of people that they marched when he got put to death. Think about it. Galatians 3, 13. It's Galatians 3. Think about it. Those people in the civil rights movement that meant something, they were either put to death or they were put in jail. And the ones that are lingering around now are the ones that were conforming to white man society now. And, and they stay out of it. Jesse Jackson was right next to Martin Luther King. Jesse Jackson was right next. Hell yeah! This this, this lead, let, let my agenda go, and you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make you rich. I'm gonna make you rich now, Jesse, to start the Rainbow Coalition and the and the coin African American Jesse. I'm gonna make you rich. It, that too. That's heavy. Read that. Because it said no man is going to redeem us from this curse that we're living in. Right? Read. The book of Galatians, chapter three and verse thirteen. Go ahead. Christ has redeemed us from the curse. Of the law. But it says Christ now has redeemed us from the curse of the law. The curse was breaking God's laws. We just read one of them. That we were going to suffer slavery on slave ships. Christ has redeemed us. Not this man. The one that looks like this. The black Christ that looks like you has redeemed you. Bring it out. How can you be redeemed now? He gave us repentance. Christ has redeemed us from the law. He was put to death. He gave himself for us. You understand that? He gave himself for us so that we can now repent and start walking in his way, start living perfectly. Read that. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 1. For the law having shadow of good things to come. It says for the law having a shadow of good things to come. Meaning that law of animal sacrifice, because we used to sacrifice animals to repent from our sins, right? It says the law now having a shadow of good things to come. Read. And not the very image of these things uh -huh. can never with those sacrifices which they appear year by year continually make the comers there are too perfect. Our job is to be perfect, brother. To be perfect, to strive for perfection, to strive after the Most High's laws, right? It doesn't mean you're going to do everything right. But before we were doing animal sacrifices, that never made us perfect. Christ coming in the flesh and dying as a black man, living perfectly, He's the one that died now. Read. 
for them would they not have ceased to be offered? Because that the worshippers once purged shall have no more conscious of sins. So that the worshippers once purged should have no more conscious of sin. Animal sacrifice couldn't help our people. Hence the reason why you see us now coming on slave ships now, our brothers and sisters walking by, not wanting to fly and not wanting to change, thinking that they don't have to change, thinking that sin is good, read. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. Every year, read on. For is it not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins? So it says it's not possible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. That's what we once were doing when we would sin, we try to make an atonement. Sometimes that blood was your own life though. That blood was your, if you was a homosexual and got caught, you was put to death back then. Right. Under Christ it's not like that now, read. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, sacrifice and offering, thou wouldest not. He said, when he cometh into the world, sacrifice and offering, thou wouldest not, read. But a body has, but a what? But a body has thou prepared me. The Most High God has sent His Son down to be a body prepared for us to be that ultimate sacrifice. You can't take Christ's blood in vain now, though. That's the problem. A lot of our people now, they hear this word and they take Christ's blood in vain. They use it to say, oh, I, I can still remain in sin and I'm under grace now. No, you must change. Read. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for what sin. Mean? What you mean? In vain? Remain in sin. Pain and sin. Right. The That's what they teach us in the church. They say if you're under the law, you're in sin. Look up Creflo Dollar's teachings. They teach you in the church that no one is perfect. You can't judge me. And Christ died for our sins. So I'm going to go ahead and keep eating this pork chop sandwich now. God, right. God hates the sin, but loves the sinner. That's not biblical. As long as you ask for forgiveness, it's okay. As long as you ask for forgiveness, it's okay, right. But you will never change if you keep asking for if you, Exactly. And that's what a lot of that animal sacrifice did. You would sacrifice, ask for forgiveness, give a, a sacrifice of a damn animal, and keep going back doing the same thing, knowing that a turtle dove, I'll be wicked and give another turtle dove. And never change. Yeah. Read on. And burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, thou hast no pleasure. Read. Then said, I lo, I come at the volume of the book. It is written of me. So Christ said, lo, I come in the volume of the book. The whole Bible is written of Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. The whole Bible. The entire Bible. He says, lo, I come in the volume of the book. What, right. what, 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 what book is that? That's Hebrews, right? That's in the New Testament, right? Get that in Psalms. Psalms chapter 40. Huh? You said before Jesus was even born what? I mean, in Genesis, that's when the world began, ain't it? That is when the world began. So Christ wasn't there for when the world began. Give me John chapter 1. Just real quick. Give me John chapter 1. I'm going to show you something. The more you start applying these scriptures to your life, that's the more you'll start understanding. So you said, before the world began, I mean, they say he you want to see? Because Christ said he comes in the volume of the book, right? Mary and, Mary and, uh, Mary and Joseph. She, he was Mary, Mary and Joseph's son. Watch John 1's going to explain it. Read. The book of John, chapter 1 and verse 1. So, in the beginning was the Word. It says, in the beginning was the Word. Read. And the Word was with God. It says, the Word was with God. The Word was with God. Read. And the Word was God. And it says, and the Word was God. It, sounds, it can confuse you a little bit, right? It says, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Read. The same was in the beginning with God. The same was in the beginning with God. That's the book of Genesis, right? Read. All things were, says what? All things were made by him. It says all things was made by the word. So who made all things? Word the word of God. Let's see who the word of God is. Read. And without him was not anything made. It says, and without him was not anything made. Read. That was made. Verse 14. And the word was made flesh. It says, and the word was made flesh. So remember, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. The word was made flesh, read. And dwelt among us. And dwelt among us. Who's that talking about? Read. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Who is the only begotten of the Father? Only begotten of the Father? Yeah. Jesus. It's Jesus Christ, right? So read 14 from the top again. And the word was made flesh. Says, and the word was made flesh. Read. And dwelt among us. And dwelt among us. Read. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Right. So who was that? 
He's the oldest. Jesus Christ is the oldest, right? right? He's not older than God. Now, I'm not saying he's Most High God, the creator, but he is the only begotten of the Most High God, and everything else was created by him. So now, when you go back, now read the one in Psalms chapter 40. It's not when it tells you, lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is speaking of me. This entire Bible from Genesis through the Apocrypha to Revelations is all about Jesus Christ. Right. And he wrote that thing. Right. You understand that? Read that. Now we read in Hebrews the same thing, read. The book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. That's in the book of Psalms. And that's Christ speaking through King David now, who wrote the book of Psalms. His spirit is upon every single one of us out here that comes out here to teach. And that deals in this Bible, you're dealing in the spirit of Christ. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 